what up y'all and welcome back to my channel by the title of this video you guys know what we're getting into i feel like this is the number one most asked question i've gotten on like instagram or even like my tiktok and stuff like that i post more you know videos of like my everyday wear and stuff like that um but yeah i feel like i always get asked like where to get good basics from, where I get my basics from. So yeah, today we're gonna be getting into your ultimate guide to getting good basics. Uh, these are brands that I personally have shopped from and I feel like I can speak to like the reviewing of the brands, the sizing, the fit, the pricing, all of that and everything in between. So starting off with number one, we have Uniqlo. I feel like Uniqlo is that brand that is reliable. Their t-shirts are also pretty affordable. So I feel like this is like a t-shirt that you really can't go wrong with. And they work with just about like any body type. Personally speaking, I'm about 5'6", like 175 pounds. I also kind of have a bigger chest um, and which is something that's important for me is to have things not necessarily be so tight, especially when it comes to my chest area. And I feel like this, these tees um, have kind of helped my gender dysphoria in a way just because of the way that they're the tees is shaped and cut and the silhouette on them. One of the things that I have found, especially as somebody who is androgynous and mass presenting is that finding things that are like boxy and kind of have a more, how do I even wear this? Like a more straight line shape um, avoids things hugging you or being tight in certain areas, which is one of the reasons why I really love the Uniqlo tee and also just boxy oversized tees in general. Generally, most of the times, like they just kind of sit on you and they don't necessarily hug you in certain areas unless obviously that's the look that you like sometimes when it comes to like basics and stuff like that oftentimes the material is too thin so when you wear it it's almost like see-through um, but with this i feel like it isn't see-through and it has obviously more of a heavier feel um, but it's still very relaxed it's still comfortable i feel like it teeters that line between like simple um, but also something that you can dress up like this is just a basic that you can throw on jeans or you can go for you know something a little bit more sophisticated like if you want to wear a basic you know tee over a blazer i feel like uniqlo u airs and t is a good tee that you can kind of do a little bit of everything with also another thing too is the affordability i think these are like 20 dollars compared to most basics i feel like when it comes to basic and when we think of basic it automatically goes to it has to be expensive or you know you're thinking about like well i just need a basic tee that i can wear and wear and over and over again why would i want to spend 50 dollars on that when it won't last the test of time at the price that it is honestly i feel like it is a solid t-shirt um, for what you get for the versatility that it will offer um, and just like the overall silhouette one of the features that i personally really like when it comes to t-shirts is having elongated sleeves so like as somebody again with like a bigger chest just drawing attention to everything but here helps so when you have things like the elongated sleeves and stuff i feel like it just adds like extra little layers to the t-shirt and takes it from just like a basic t-shirt to something a little bit different when the neck is a little bit more of like a mock neck I don't know for y'all, but personally, I don't really like for my bra or anything that I'm wearing inside to show. So that's something that I personally really like is how high the neckline comes just because it avoids all that like bra showing on when you wear t-shirts usually, which happens a lot, especially if you have boobs. Initially, when I first came about the Uniqlo U Airs MT, I automatically thought that I needed to just wear what I normally would wear, which is usually about a large, but I actually found that wearing a medium had a better fit and like a like a smarter fit on me, especially like I mentioned, I'm about five, six, 175 pounds. So usually I wear about a large when it comes to like t-shirts, just because I like for my t-shirts to be a little bit more oversized. Um, but with these, I actually found that sizing down still gave me that same look that I usually like. And it honestly just made it look more like smarter and more put together. If you are somebody who typically wears like a large, go down to a medium. If you wear a medium, go down to a small. 
I think overall the Uniqlo tee is a good, good first place to start when you are trying to not spend a lot of money, but also want to have good, reliable t-shirts that you can wash over time and it still holds the weight. The next brand that I would also like to highlight is LA Apparel. This is a brand that I've heard a lot about, or actually I hadn't heard a lot about until I literally moved here to California, to LA, but LA Apparel, again kind of similar to the price point of uniqlo i think that they have a couple of different ounces of t-shirts i think they have like a 6.5 ounce a 8 ounce and then i think they have a 12 ounce which is just kind of the uh, weight of personally i have picked up two t-shirts and i want to say this is the 8 ounce i really like this t-shirt i feel like it isn't your normal like t-shirt this is like kind of heavy this is something that i would wear mainly when it's like winter or fall because in the summer this has potential to become really hot but i feel like with these t these types of t-shirts it just adds a little bit more of like a luxurious feel without paying luxurious feel money i want to say their prices start from like 18 to about 24. i think that if you have like a wholesale account with them you can get the t-shirts for 18 and if you don't i think they're at like 24 which again isn't too bad uh as, as far as affordability um and also for what you get personally i like the fit of the la apparel tees for like for a decent blank this is something that i would highly recommend just because of one how many different colors it comes in most t-shirts you get white black gray and maybe just like one pop of color but these t-shirts in this brand offers a variety of colors especially if you're somebody who does wear basics a lot and you want to you know get outside of wearing like black white or gray or stuff like that it just has more options as far as colors so yeah i 100 percent highly recommend la apparel outside of uniqlo if you want to try more of like a streetwear brand something a little bit like you know different this is a brand that i would definitely recommend on to the next brand so I have been a huge fan of Cause for a very long time. If you guys are unfamiliar with Cause, it's like a sister brand to H&M. Essentially, H&M also owns Cause. It's like they're just more elevated version of H&M. So their quality is a little bit better. Um, you do pay a little bit more, but I absolutely love Cause. I feel like their quality is always there. In the past, I've gotten two oversized tees from them. It's more of like a, a slouchy tee. I want to say they have like four or three or four different types of t-shirts. I have like an oversized tee, a slouchy t-shirt, and then kind of like a heavy duty t-shirt, which is just gonna be a little bit heavier. Personally, with this brand, I usually go for like a lighter, like the slouchy t-shirt or just like the oversized t-shirt. I like Cause. I feel like Cause is again, another good, reliable brand. It is a little bit more expensive. So, you know, expect to pay upwards of like 30 to like $50, depending on like which one of these t-shirts that you're getting. But again, for the quality of what you're getting, um, I feel like it is well worth the price. The other thing too with Cause is that I feel like it's slightly heavier than the Uniqlo Arizon tee, again, depending on if you're getting the super slouchy tee, which is gonna be a little bit, um, a little bit more relaxed, less cotton, less heavier than if you're getting like the heavy duty t-shirt. I feel like with basics, it's really hard just because like, there's not a lot to basics, right? There are basics for a reason, um, but I think that sometimes like when you pay a little bit more, you can see those, little differences from you know like a shirt that you pay twenty dollars for versus a shirt that you pay 40 60 bucks for that's kind of the vibe that you know i feel cause is the other thing that i also really enjoy is that they have different t-shirts like for men and for women i have this t-shirt called the clean cut t-shirt which i've gotten and typically this is not like a style of t-shirt that i would really wear or gravitate towards again with like 
women's stuff, it tends to highlight areas that I don't necessarily want to highlight. So I tend to, you know, be very intentional about the things that I'm buying from the women's section and just the way it fits, the way it looks. But I really like the clean cut t-shirt. Um, I think I, I got a medium in this shirt and it is a little bit tighter than like what I would normally wear, like a oversized or a boxy cut t-shirt. But I really love this t-shirt. I feel like, you know, it's nice for when you want like a more tighter look. Comes in a couple different colors. Um, I wanna say they have a white black. Um, they also have like some pinstripe blue, pinstripe red. Picked up the pinstripe red one. And I really like it. Um, this particular t-shirt does kind of remind me of like Where's Waldo, but I really like the silhouette of this t-shirt. So that's also an option. Um, you don't necessarily always have to shop from the men's section. I feel like cause um, a lot of their clothing feels very genderless and very unisex. So buying from both men and women's and feeling like, you know, it will fit you the right way, or at least it will fit you close enough is also important for me. So, and I assume would be important to you guys as well. I have two more brands that I want to highlight. This brand is Cotton. Now, I came across this brand, I want to say about like a year and a half ago when I was on a search for, you know, brands that have good basics outside of Uniqlo. Kind of wanted to expand my options and see what else was out there. I came across Cotton. This is a brand that's based in Canada, and I wanna say they work with like Egyptian cotton, a little bit of a finer cotton. I love cotton. I speak so highly of them. Um, I have two shirts that I've picked up in the past from them. I wanna say these shirts are no longer available, but they do have, again, similar to Cause, a couple of different silhouettes. And one of the things I also really like about cotton, similar to Cause, is that they have different styles and different silhouettes of like a basic t-shirt. They have like more slim cuts, more relaxed cuts, and more oversized cuts. The two shirts that I picked, I wanna say are the uh, ribless, uh, I wanna say pleated t-shirts. So this is more of like my vibe of like a basic t-shirt, elongated sleeves, kind of boxy. The neckline's a little bit like wide, but also not too wide. The one thing I will say about these t-shirts is that I usually wear a binder just because the bras on the binder are a little bit wider, so they don't necessarily show on the neckline. But if you're somebody who doesn't like that stuff, I feel like going towards the direction of like more of a mock neck t-shirt um, kind of avoids that like bra showing. Especially for me, it's not something that I really enjoy. I kind of want like a clean, simple look. I don't want to have to be like tugging my bra in and stuff like that. It is going to be a little bit more expensive. I want to say that their heavyweight t-shirt starts at 55, which is a little bit steep for just a basic t-shirt. Everybody's price point and budget is a little bit different. Again, I feel like as you go up in, in, basics and depending on the brand you are getting a different feel a little bit of a better quality the longevity of the shirt lasts a little bit longer i feel like paying 55 is a little bit steep but the shirt that i got i want to say at the time they were having like a sale so they were 40 each this is like a year and a half ago. I still have these t-shirts. They still held up over time. I've washed them a number of times. I've at least washed them like 15 to 20 times um, and they still hold up pretty well. So I feel like when it comes to the longevity and just being able to repeatedly wear a basic over and over again, like they do stand out pretty well. Again, with like cause this brand seems very unisex, very genderless. A lot of what's in the men's section is also in the women's section. As a mass presenting androgynous person, I just like to know that what I'm paying for is going to look nice and look the way that I want it to look. So oftentimes I usually just try to shop from brands that kind of are unisex or genderless just because I know that you know the sizing will be a little bit more favorable to me to my body type and so one of the things with cotton is that a lot of what's in the men's section is also reflected in the women's section it's kind of like vice versa the only thing I would say is with sizing I think for these uh, ribless t-shirts I did a XL it's because when I went through their sizing guide um, and put like my weight and like all of that stuff 
Um, that's the size that it recommended. And I feel like had I gotten a large, which is normally what I would wear, it might have been like a little too small. So I feel like with this brand, this might be a brand that you do have to kind of size up. If you're somebody who wears a medium, get a large. If you wear large, get an extra large. Just because I feel like their sizing is a little bit smaller than most brands. But Cotton is a brand that I highly recommend. I love their stuff and you know I will continue to speak on them and maybe hopefully one day they can sponsor one of these videos. The last brand that I want to highlight is gonna be a brand that I recently actually came across. I wanna say within the last like three, four months. This brand is Mod Ref, also known as Common Market. I actually featured in my pants collection one of their pants. It's called the Idris pants. Um, the ones that are kind of similar to the Issey Miyake pants that they kind of remind me of. It's kind of like a lifestyle brand. They focus a lot on like minimalism. A lot of their garments are very like simple, again, simple button up, simple pants, like, really just like a lifestyle brand just for, you know, your everyday wear. I've been really loving a lot of their stuff. I picked up one of their t-shirts from my job. I think this t-shirt's called their like Elias cut t-shirt. I want to say this is also from the men's section, but like their quality is amazing. It is going to be probably a little bit more on the expensive side. This particular shirt that I picked up, I wanna say is about $34, which isn't too expensive, but generally this brand and a lot of their stuff is a little bit more expensive. This Ellie's t-shirt I wanna say is like one of their number one seller t-shirts. And honestly, I can see why. Kind of like a more slim cut t-shirt, but it also feels like a little oversized. I feel like it hugs in the right areas. And for me, that's really important. Again, I don't wanna be showing the parts that I don't wanna be showing. And so I feel like I've been really focusing a lot on the fit of things rather than just like, I love this brand, let me buy some stuff from them. They also have a couple of different silhouettes of t-shirt. Um, I think they have this t-shirt called the Zach t-shirt, which is gonna be a little bit more of your typical heavyweight, oversized, boxy cut t-shirt. I haven't bought any of these t-shirts other than the Elias cut t-shirt that I have but I mean judging off of the couple of items that I already have from this brand this is a brand that I honestly highly highly recommend I feel like they have not disappointed me at all everything that I feel and have felt for them from them has been you know superb quality and you know it is a little bit more expensive but again if this is something that's within your budget I feel like this is a brand that you know will do you well will serve you well um, will last the test of time as far as like you know re-washing things re-wearing things and just holding up that you know structure over time similar to a lot of these other brands i've mentioned a lot of their clothes feel again very genderless very unisex um, they do have like a men's section and a women's section but I feel like even looking through some of the stuff in their women's section, I feel like these are things that I can buy and feel confident that they will also look and feel as good on me. I'm gonna say they have like a Laney top, which is again, more of like their heavyweight um, top for women. And I feel like, again, with women's stuff, I feel like it's important, at least for me, it's important to just size up just to kind of achieve the look that I know that I would normally feel comfortable with versus with like men's section, I kind of just buy what I normally would buy, which is like a large versus in women's, I would go for like an extra large. I own currently three or four things. Uh, I'm gonna say two pants and two shirts from them. And you know, I can't get enough of them. I've been wearing it a lot. And honestly, another brand that I highly, highly recommend. Those are gonna be all of my ultimate guides to good basics from brands that I've tried. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any brands that you know you really like and you wanna highlight. I'm always wanting to know more and more brands. That wraps up today's video. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with a friend. And I will see you guys in another one.